What's going on guys? Greg Bear here of Greg's Halfling Garden Channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you why I single stem my tomatoes. With that being said, roll the intro. So this isn't going to be some huge long video with a giant explanation. This is probably going to be a short, you know, only like three, four minute video because it's pretty super simple if you have no space. Why I single stem my tomatoes. Let's take a look at some of my tomato plants here. As you can see, I have them spaced out between 12 to 16 inches. So if your tomato plant had multiple stems on it, you'd have giant stems growing all in between these plants. And what's the first thing that's going to happen if you have a ton of foliage here and moisture? It's going to attract bacteria, blight, blossom end rot, all those kinds of things that thrive in moist, disgusting conditions. Just like mold, fungus, all that kind of stuff. So, that's one reason why I do it. Another reason why I do it, the plant itself can only sustain so much through its root system down here. So if you had like, you know, like three or four main stems that are all producing, clusters of tomatoes like this, these roots aren't really going to be able to sustain that. So you're actually going to get the most production if you single stem and maximize the size of the roots down here. Because you've, you've probably pulled up tomatoes before. If you're watching this video, you're a gardener, so you know what a root ball of tomatoes looks like. It's going to be like, you know, this big and like that deep with some runners that go deeper. But when you rip it out, it's going to be like, you know, like the size of a cantaloupe pretty much. And that's the only thing sustaining this giant plant. Now. I'm not saying you can't leave those stems on. There's some fun things you could do. Like say you had a sucker down here. And if you don't know, the sucker is the stem that's trying to grow in between the elbow like this. So you got your main branch and your main stem. And then this would be the sucker trying to produce a whole new stem. So what you can do with this, if it's down low enough, you could technically bury this in the ground. And as you can see on tomato plants, if you see the bumps like this, that means it knows it's close to the ground and moisture and it's trying to already root itself out. So if you had a sucker like this and you buried it, it'd create a whole new root system. And then theoretically, you could go wild with this and you know, two or three main stems, you could be crazy. That's of course if you have the space, of course. But mine is pretty much systematic, like you know, 12, 16 inches placed like, like cell on here and I do have a blight problem because I have planted these tomatoes in the same spot for like six years now. If you're lucky enough to be able to crop rotate, definitely do that. That's pretty much why I do it and pruning suckers is a heck of a job. You're probably going to spend maybe two hours a week at least out in your garden doing it. If you have one like the size of mine where I have like, you know, between 70 to 100 plants, you got to spend a few seconds on each plant because these little guys right here may look small now, but in a couple days, it'll be like a foot tall, thick as like your finger. And you know, you just wasted all that energy that plant just made into a sucker that you're gonna just pinch off anyways. So try to get them when you're young, cause then the plant's gonna put more energy in the actual fruiting. And like me in my zone six, you know, my summer is pretty short. I start getting tomatoes like mid July and by the beginning of September, I'm done. It really sucks. So do everything you can to get that energy into the fruiting and making the main stem bigger and getting the foliage out because you know, then you'll get happier, bigger, juicier, tastier tomatoes. So if you like this video, definitely consider giving it a like. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe to the Greg's Halfling family. Become one of my halflings. And if you want to stay in the know for all my future uploads, turn on that notification bell and make sure it's set to notifications on always. And I hope to see you guys all in the garden on my next video. Craig Bear out.